What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. I have missed you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, whatever time you're watching this video. I miss you guys every day that I don't sit down to film. Make sure you're leaving those comments down below because I love to hear from you guys. Today, you guys, we are recreating and updating one of my more popular videos here on my channel, and that's my DIY compressed face mask review. Now, I'll put an image somewhere around here. As you guys know, if you've seen the video before, I'll link it down below. The last time I made a compressed face mask, it was a total flop. But I thought knowing what I know now that I would try and recreate this and update it, try and make it the right way by adding enough serum and essence right off the bat, really getting it nice and juicy, creating that custom sheet mask experience. So if you're ready to check out my updated DIY face mask and compressed sheet mask review to see if I can get these to work for a second time, keep on watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell notification so you know every time I upload a new video. For today's video, we'll be using Beauty Bits Australia Compressed Face Masks. Now in here, they're both made of bamboo, but as you can see, one is black that contains activated charcoal. This is going to help to draw out impurities as well as provide any serum that you add into the face mask. Now as you can see, these face masks are compressed into about the size of a dime, and they do come in a container that you can add your own serum and essence into. Now the beauty of a compressed face mask is that you actually get to tailor it to your own skin type, whether you just want it full of hyaluronic acid or say niacinamides, maybe you want to add some zinc in there. A compressed face mask gives you the option to tailor any face mask to you, and that is the coolest part. Now at this point in the game in 2018, I am starting to feel that sheet masks are a little passe. They are very cumbersome. You do have to lay around. You have to lay still when you use them. There's so many new and trending face masks coming out that are so innovative, so moisturizing, so hydrating, and they're not in that sheet format. They're just in a layer so you can go about your day. So the whole concept of a sheet mask, it does feel a little old to me, but we're gonna roll with it. All right, now since in my last video, I tried out the non-activated charcoal face mask. This time I'm gonna try the one with activated charcoal in it. As you guys can see, it is sandwiched in there. There is a little bit of room for liquid. Now I am gonna add a very generous amount of my favorite Mario Badescu aloe herbs and rose water facial spray. This is what I'm gonna use as the base. So I'm really gonna soak the mask in this. I find it so hydrating, so light and refreshing. I love this scent. So this is gonna be our base. Then I'm gonna add in a serum by COSRX. This is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid Serum. This is a great serum if you have any blackheads or whiteheads, any buildup. And since I'm going for that whole purifying mask experience with the activated charcoal, I figure why not add in some BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. This is really gonna help to cleanse the skin. Now I'm also gonna add in a few drops of my resveratrol and ferulic acid by The Ordinary, as well as a few drops of my Banish Serum, which is packed with vitamin C. Now I'm just gonna switch cameras so you guys can see even closer, up close and personal, this DIY compressed face mask. I really hope it works out this time. I'm really gonna add lots of serums, lots of essences. I'm just gonna switch cameras, one second. All right guys, here we go. Let's create our own DIY compressed face mask. Now this time I'm gonna start with we're gonna go in with a couple drops of my Banish Oil. This contains vitamin C. It's gonna be great for brightening and really reviving the skin. Let's go. I'm gonna add a whole big drop. All right, soak that up. I'm gonna add the thicker things first. That way they can really soak deep into the mask before I add in the liquid. Let's add in a couple drops of the Ordinary's Ferulic Acid and Resveratrol. All right. Now let's go ahead and add in a couple drops of the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And now to top it off, I'm gonna add in my Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. I'm gonna take the lid right off and we're just gonna pour it right in there. Whoa, it is foaming up. Harry Potter realness, cast in spells. Now, to be totally honest, this doesn't even look like it is swelling up at all. Um, but we'll leave it there for a few minutes. I'll meet you guys back on the main camera and we'll see what happens. So about two minutes has passed and the face mask has tripled in size for sure. If you look, let's compare. There's a comparison of how much the face mask has grown. It literally grew right out of the container. So all of those serums and face sprays have definitely sunk into the mask. Let's go ahead and see if this one worked. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. Let's go. It definitely is very juicy. I'm just going to wiggle it apart here. Now I don't remember how it opened last time. There we go. 
I just think it's so cool that they can compress it so tiny. Ugh, this one feels dry too, you guys. Feels as dry as I remember it. Let's go ahead and apply it right to the skin. All right, right on there. <sighs> All right, I have terrible news. It's dry as a bone. Oh, you guys, I had such high hopes. I thought for sure that by adding more serums or more liquids into the mask, it would really soak it up and become that kind of juicy, quenching, tailored face mask that I was hoping for. But it failed again. Well, I mean, I'm glad that I tried. Now I know for sure that these compressed face masks do not work and I'm going to throw them in the garbage. I've been holding on to them just thinking maybe it was me. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I didn't do the right thing. Girl, bye. Get out of here. Now I know it's you. It's not me. I added a generous amount of four different serums and that face mask should have been dripping, soaking wet. I feel like anything more than that would just be wasting your products and it's better just to apply them directly onto the skin. I feel again like I just wasted these serums and I remember feeling that way the first time, which is is not a great feeling. Layering all of those serums on the skin would have been much more effective than wasting them in the sheet mask. Don't forget to check out my entire skincare routine. I'll have everything linked down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, I love chatting with you. I hope you're having a beautiful morning, afternoon, night. If you need more of me in between now and next video, you can always find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Until the next video, I can't wait. I literally can't wait to see you then. Bye.